Hello my friends, my final cut is here as we continue to cover the films from the Madison Horror Film Festival. Now today we've got two shorts on the chopping block, Cougars and Survivor Type. Now Cougars tells the story of a teenage girl who's constantly at odds with her promiscuous mother, uh, Bastet. But when Sasha brings a boy home from school to, uh, you know, talk and study, if you will, Sasha ends up having to come to terms with a dark secret that she's been trying to hide, but that her mother knew about all along. Cougars, folks, is a fun short film. Uh, it's definitely unexpected on how well it was done, in all honesty. Written and directed by Lonnie Martin. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting too much from it, but when I watched it, I'm like, wow, oh, the production value on this film is really well done. The script, most of the dialogue did not seem cliche, and the chemistry between the two, the mother and daughter, the mother uh, Sa uh, played by Kendra North, Bastet, and Rebecca Hausman playing Sasha, chemistry between these two were really well done, and you bought into the fact this could really be a mother and daughter with the way they banter and the relationship they have, and that comes across the screen, so there's some great relationship there, uh, and it's definitely some great chemistry between the two performers. And you also get some great special effects in here, which were unexpected because you get near the twist and near the end and uh, you get some great special effects and makeup as well in Cougars. Overall, this is a well-done short, and I would love to see more from Lonnie Martin uh, because this is an example of the works to come. They're definitely going to be worth a watch. Now, we also have a film called Survivor Type. It's a short film based off of a short Stephen King story, which basically tells the story of a, a doctor who is trapped on a deserted island with no food, and we we get flashbacks to see what's kind of led this doctor to this point in his life where he's been abandoned on a uh, desert island, a, a kind of a sand, more like a sand dune in the middle of the ocean, okay? Uh, you know, it's based off a Stephen King screenplay, uh, a Stephen King short, so you already have some great groundwork there. Uh, it did great with this flashbacks and the storytelling that you had. Uh, it wasn't really hard to follow, it was very easy to follow, and they did great by telling the story in flashbacks for the most part, and then cutting back to the present and seeing the uh, tri trials that the doctor has to deal with with trying to survive on this island and the extremes that he goes to survive as that hunger starts to take him over, uh, take over him. You, you know, it, overall it was done well. I liked how it was edited, uh, The putting the flashbacks in there with the uh, current day. It, it, that was done really well. It wasn't disjointed and it wasn't hard to follow. It really told a decent story. And the ending, while it was a bit predictable of where they were going, had a great visual shot at the end. And in fact, the cinematography in this as well was done great with the special effects and the ocean shots and really giving the feel of isolation to the doctor. So I enjoyed that aspect of it. Some of the acting uh, by the other performers, not the lead, was a little bit not stiff but possibly overdone in some uh, respects so uh, you know I, I didn't quite like all the acting in the film uh, but that's about one of the only weak points of it uh, it's definitely a decent short based off of Stephen King short now I want to read the short to see how well they held to the source material and the doctor who uh, the guy who's playing the doctor uh, is great Gideon Emery who's done a lot of voice acting in video games so you may recognize his voice uh, in uh, all your other favorite video games. He's done that mostly, so we haven't seen him much in front of the camera, but what I've seen in front of the camera I did like. Outside of some uh, performances that I thought were meh, this is a decent short, and I think Stephen King would approve of this film. And that'll about do it for us here at The Final Cut. You know what to do with that stuff. 